G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to take a look at, at um, input query and it may be a little bit more powerful than you think. So in this very trivial application, it does go to get details and we fill in the name caption. So if you look at the code, basically we're using input query, I presume, I'm going to assume you're already familiar with it, but if I control click on it, we see we've got uh, three versions and this is the one that um, we're making use of. So let's, uh, so basically we just get the full name and we put that on the name caption. But we see we've got uh, some to-do list items, which you can get into with control, well, you can create one with control shift T. Um, and actually you can bring up a list of, of to-do items as well, but outside the scope of this video. So what we're going to do is we now need to get three values, the first and last name, plus email address. And if we go back to input query, we can see that in this version, we have a array of string and an array of values. So instead of having full name, I have values and we'll make it a T array of string and we'll pass in values. And in addition to that, we need to pass in an array of prompts. So we go first name, oops, and email. And the full name will be values zero plus any space. So the first two values combined together and we'll just call trim on that. And then values two for the email address. So we can run that. And now we go get details. And I have forgotten to link the array of values to th three, so we need three items. So so nice and simple. And of course, we can press cancel to abort. Now we might have another requirement that the first name and email address not be blank. Now to achieve that, there is another parameter called close query func. And if I control click on that, it's a function that takes an array of values or passes an array of array of values. Um, so we can call this um, validate values, say. Oops. Semicolon. Okay, that's Control Shift C to create that, and that is zero plus that is two not equal to a blank string, and I'm just going to be explicit about that. And if not result. And then we just pass that into our function, our input query, rather. So that's a, a anonymous method. And now I go OK, and a first name and email is required. So now there is a third input query, which I'm not going to cover. Um, it's kind of a it takes a uh, 
t input close query event and you also can pass in a context which uh, I'm not sure about a use for but anyway and um, it's more of a traditional um, procedure um, so it's a procedure of object uh, rather than reference to um, so that's just a method on a um, class such as a form anyway that's what I wanted to cover in this video was that you can use input query to get more than one value and it can be quite handy at times if you uh, are wanting you know it's just a simple way of getting um, a bunch of string values so I hope you found this video interesting I'm Alistair Christie from learndelphi.tv